Hello and welcome. Uh, here I am stripping my uh, newly made crevice pump down. I'm going to strip it all down a bit and uh, show you how to rebuild, how to make one pretty simply. It doesn't cost that much and if you've got some basic mechanical skills, it shouldn't be too difficult for you. If you've got to buy all these parts from scratch, uh, it's going to cost you £30. But a lot of those parts, like the pipe and the threaded bar and nuts and etc., just you know, you haven't got to buy much more to make two pumps or possibly three. So it probably cost me about 20 But uh, if you've got to buy everything from scratch, you're looking at 30 quid. So welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all the subscriptions from Lost Minds channel. Um, I can't get out in these lockdowns we've got at the moment, so you'll have to bear with me until we can get out and explore some of these exciting uh, surface mine workings that I'll be doing and getting back on the search for the gold. So today I'm, I've just decided to make a new um, crevice pump. I thought I'd show you how to make one. Relatively cheap, 20 odd pounds you could make one of these. Uh, here I've got it all stripped down. And I'll go through the parts with you, what you need. And uh, they're all viable from screw fix or somewhere like that, pretty cheap. Um, so we've got a threaded bar, that's your main strength for pulling in and out. That's an M10. And then we use a bit of plumbing pipe. This is your standard water feed pipe, plastic push fit pipe. We slide over to protect the threads of the bar. This is your classic waste plumbing pipe from your sink for your waste you buy this in a big length I've wrapped it in camo tape it's just something I had lying around I thought it would be cool at the time um, two fittings washing machine fitting and that's got your like crevice end on so you can get into those cracks easy to scrape the edge out and what I like about these screw fittings it's so simple when your hands are cold out on that river you can grip these joints and easily undo them to unblock it because they all get blocked up at some point or you want to clean out make sure you clean it out look that's on there solid now brilliant so the other end is just a blanking fitting uh, I've put a big washer in there and drilled two holes either side of that washer and bolted it in with some M5 bolts and that's just to stop uh, wearing the top out so you, it doesn't go slack in the end Again, it's a screw fitted so you can undo it and, and service your pump whenever you want to. Uh, the handle's a bit rubbish, I'm going to improve on that. Some old Slassinger um, umbrella handle I found that, I've, that I glued a M10 nut in the end. So it's not ideal that, but it'll do for now until I, I'll probably put like a shovel handle on it in a bit. Or maybe a T-handle, but that's what I had lying around, so I've used that. Um, then seals, got half a tennis ball from an old dredge pump, so I've just cut it out with a Stanley blade. And that's going to be the main rubber seal. And then I always follow up with a, a lever wash, that's a bit of lever like off a seat or a handbag or something. Just chopped it round, put that behind it, and between the rubber and the, and, and the lever, that makes an excellent seal. And then the important part is putting a decent sized washer behind it. So you can control how much suction you want by doing up the nut behind it. The more I do that nut up, it flattens the rubber out, becomes a tighter seal, or loosen it, becomes less of a seal. So, 
I've shown you all the components there. I mean, a tennis ball. I don't know how much tennis balls are. They're cheap enough. M10 nuts. I recommend nylock nuts or you'll have them coming loose. I've built pumps before and if you don't, that's not a nylock. That is a nylock. If you don't use a nylock nut, that will uh, come loose. So, screw fix for most of these parts. M10 nuts and washers. Call that a penny washer usually, a big fat one, which is what you'll need. You've got a bit of leather. I don't know where you can play in many places you can find bits of leather from. M10. It's all, it's all plumbing stuff, all from your plumbing supply place. The screw fix is probably easiest. I mean, I think I paid seven pound for the washing machine fitting, uh, fiver for the blanking end. I can't remember how much the pipe was, probably only five or six quid. Probably talking 25 quid to make it. So let's fit it together. We'll start by putting a I put this flanged nut on the back so it's got a bit of a built-in washer. You could just use a nylock with another washer if you wanted to. You want the, the end of your plunger, as I call it, right closest to the end of the pipe you can possibly get it. So then goes on my piece of um, leather seal. I think probably best with a smooth leather on the back it side and then my newly made bit of tennis ball rubber screw that on and get it close to the end as possible put the penny washer on nylon nut on the end I don't know how tight we want that, we'll play about with it a bit, see what the suction's like. So, that's pretty much the seal end set up. You just put it, put it into a dry run. Oh, it feel, feels good. Put my finger over the end. Oh, good suction there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, I'm pretty happy with that suction. Tighten it up there, I think. We'll have a proper go in the water and I'll put it up. Check it again. Feels good. Right, so we've got the seal end sorted. On with the plastic pipe to protect the threaded bar. Down to there, and then we. Oh, there. Then we must put the blanking cap on. So I'm not going to bother stripping that down. You can see I've put two Allen key bolts uh, and a big fat penny washer in. So you don't have to do that, but it will make it last a lot longer if you do. So we're going to put that on next. handle on the washer on there as well just to hold that pipe, plastic pipe in place and we'll screw the handle up not happy with the handle but it'll do for now it'll definitely work right ready to fit that into the waste pipe the end cap on as far as you can up to the seal up to the nut these are so great for undoing even when your hands are freezing in them on the river and that's back together now brilliant suction it's feeling good Um, the only other thing I've done is put a blowhole 
and when you're using it, keep that away from you because usually water and shit gets by it eventually and you need, or, you, or you put the end under water and you need to empty it out. So turn it away from you, pull it out and it'll expel the excess water. And that is my crevice pump. It's a lot longer than my last one, I think. How long have we got now? Here we have some paint. Bit of gold here. Yeah.